video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. If you can't already tell by the title, the thumbnail, and the yeehaw music at the beginning of this video, we have another random roundup for you guys today. Get a yap yeehaw, get along little doggy, you shooey. I really gotta expand my cowboy phrases. I got a little stack of things here. This, I'm fairly certain, is just a loose look fantastic ball. This is something I'm actually really excited about, and I think you guys might be too, because I got a lot of comments about this person in one of my videos when I didn't know who they were at the moment, but now I do. We got an AIA awards beauty box. I have no idea what this is, but it's so shiny. And then we have another witch box here at the end. So let's go ahead and get on into our little stack here. All right. So item number one here, it does say look fantastic on it. And I, I've never opened this bag. It's been sitting over there for so long. Just loose. How'd it get like that? It's a nice like velvety bag. I don't remember the last time I received a look fantastic box with the items inside of a bag. I do have the size of this bag though. And it's very soft. So let's see what we got. Oh, looks like a drugstore in here. As in that everything is in squeezy tubes and there's Neutrogena. All right, so let's go for the first item here. Very exciting. We have a Neutrogena. Wow, this sounds like a real like intense Neutrogena. We have a Neutrogena developed with dermatologist Norwegian formula hand cream, concentrated, scented, instant relief of dry chapped hands in just a drop. So that sounds like a really, like I said, like intense version of just Neutrogena hand cream. I wonder what it's scented like. It doesn't say Norwegian, where? Norway, Norway would be where they speak Norwegian, not Norwegia. Oh, it came out in this weird little snaky like like sliver thing. I was anticipating more of like a standard hand lotion, but it almost looks Vaseline-y. Feels Vaseline-y. Sorry guys, I had a break for just a second, but the boys are here, yay! So we have some background buddies now. Uh, we left off talking about this cream that really isn't a cream, more like a Vaseline, but when you rub it together, it does become a cup of a cream. What it's supposed to be scented like, I don't know. It smells like your mom's skincare routine. And for the next little squeezy tube of cream we have here, this is from First A Beauty. It is the Ultra Repair Cream for Intense Hydration for skin. Now first day beauty typically doesn't smell like your mom's skincare routine. It smells a little bit like vomit. Um, but you know, it works good. All right. And for the third and I think final little squeezy tube here. Oh, we have something from By Terry. This is a brightening CC serum. It is a glowing base in the shade for sunny flash. It does look unfortunately like this might be a little bit on the deep side for me based on like this little like Sahibra Bob right here and just kind of the color that's coming through the tube. I almost don't want to open it up because I could pass this along to somebody else or put it into like a little bag to donate. But that's nice that it's kind of like a makeup y product, like an underneath kind of glowy product. Following that, I think we have another kind of makeup y product in here. This is an eye pencil. I'm assuming it's a nice, just black, regular, basic eyeliner. They got the letters going all sorts of ways. I have no idea what brand this is actually from. Three Ina? Ooh! How does that logo say three Ina in any way, shape, or form? I don't even see a three on there. Ooh, but it is liquid. I do prefer like a liquid eyeliner if I'm gonna wear a black eyeliner. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, oh, well, okay. Uh, I was gonna say, all right, that's pretty pigmented, but if you guys can see there, it's already kind of bleeding into the fine lines at the back of my hand. So it could be a little bit on like the too liquidy side where it might bleed a bit. Okay, next up here, we have a pot of cream. So that's a little bit different. This is, oh, okay. So this is actually for your hair. This is from Christoph Grubin or just, you know, Christoph Robin is probably how it's not supposed to be said. <laughs> this is a cleansifying, I'm gonna go ahead and assume you guys know that this does not say cleansifying because that's not a thing that is real. This is a cleansing, purifying scrub. It's got salt in it and you rub it on your scalp and it says to clear off all like, you know, the impurities and stuff on your scalp. I'm terrified of stuff like this. I just, I feel like if I started scrubbing in my head really good, I would have no hair left once I was done. It would just, it would all be down the drain. Ooh, this is a micellar mousse. Sorry guys, I, th I tend to get a little bit nervous when I haven't filmed in a while and it has been several days since I've really filmed and uh, I, my, 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 <laughs> my words just don't come out correctly. I'm, I'm really sorry. This is a micellar mute purifying and nourishing effortless rinse off cleanser. That's really fun. I don't think I've ever heard of a micellar water like in a mousse form before. I do have a friend that really loves micellar water so I might go ahead and give this to her. Uh, but that's that's fun. I, I like that. Oh, it says you don't use cotton pads? How does that work? Cause like if you put it on, like it's just gonna like set on your face. I guess you'd have to wash it off after. Gently remove by splashing with water and patting the face dry. Egg on it, Neutrogena's gotten to y'all. All right, so that's everything that was hanging out in this mysterious look fantastic bag. That's 
been hanging on over there for so very long without a box. I have no idea when this is from, but I'm new anyway, that's it. Before we move on, I would love to show you guys what today's sponsor, Helix Sleep. As you guys know, and as I've talked about so many times before, I love sleeping. It's one of the things I enjoy most, and Helix makes it even more enjoyable with their premium mattresses. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to fit your needs and conveniently ship right to your door. I've had my Helix mattress for over two years now, and it has improved my sleep so much. I used to wake up very stiff and sore, like to the point where I went to the doctor and had to get x-rays on my hips and shoulders. But since switching to Helix, I don't have that problem anymore. As you guys know, I've been partnering with Helix for quite some time on the channel, and it's so awesome to see your all's comments saying that you guys have tried Helix as well, and you've been loving your mattress. One thing that I love about Helix is that unlike other brands, Helix mattresses do not contain any fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. Helix owns its own manufacturing facility, which is entirely free of products containing fiberglass, and that's really good. Also, Helix knows that everyone is different, and to ensure you get the best mattress for you, they made a sleep quiz to match your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress. I personally am a side sleeper who loves a super soft cloud-like mattress, and I share my mattress, so the Helix matched me with the Helix Sunset Lux, and I think it is the perfect choice. I'm sleeping so comfortably on my Helix mattress. It's so soft, but also so supportive in all the right places. Also, with the Helix mattress, you get a 100-night sleep trial, and you also get a 10-year warranty, and there are financing options and flexible payment plans. And the best part about all of this is that Helix will deliver your mattress to your door for free within the U.S. It comes rolled up in a box. It's super easy to set up on your own. I set up our King's mattress all by myself, and it was a breeze. Can you guys hear that? As I'm unwrapping the plastic, it's starting to puff up with air. I've really been enjoying my Helix mattress, and if you think you'd enjoy Helix and would like to give them a try, be sure to check out Helix Sleep. You can click the link below or go to helixsleep.com to Alexandria to get 20% off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. And just thank you so very much to Helix for your continued support of the channel. It means the absolute world to me. Right, the next box here is actually a PR box from Ofra, and I like popped this open a little while ago, like just to look inside of it, because I wasn't sure what it was. And I opened it up and I saw that there's a card on top addressed to me, so I looked inside of it and it's from Hot Mess Mama. And I had done an unboxing where I got a lipstick from Ofra from Hot Mess Mama, and I, I didn't know at the time that it was a collaboration with another YouTuber who's from Kentucky also, so I think that's awesome. So when I opened up this little card, I was really excited, and there's a little note in it too. It says, Alexandria, I've watched your channel for years, and I have to say, you always bring a smile. Oh, from one Kentucky girl to another, I hope you enjoy my collection, XOXO Rhonda. And that's just so sweet. So I tried out the one lipstick from the collection, but there's all sorts of different things in here, so I'm really excited excited about this. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's something bubble wrapped in here. It looks like it might be maybe a mug. <laughs> so it says hashtag coffee strong all day long, which I'm totally on board for. And it's just like a little mason jar kind of mug. And uh, yeah, that's adorable. Aw, thank you. All right, so I believe we tried out this lip color in another video. And unfortunately, like it looked like there's a gray cast over my lips. But honestly, it could have been my lighting because on the camera, I couldn't see it at all. But like how I have all these lights around me and stuff. Colors do look kind of strange to me in person. I'm interested in trying it out again. I'm sure I have it laying around here somewhere. Oh, is this it? Eee, okay, <laughs> I knew I saw it set in somewhere. So this is the one that I've already tried on. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another try because honestly, it just looks like such a pretty color and I feel like I should need to give it another go. I mean, it's basically almost the same shade as my lips. That's so strange. Like, I still feel like I'm seeing kind of like a gray cast, but in like the monitor, I don't know if it looks like that. It's a very, it's a really pretty shade. I have no idea like why I'm looking in this mirror with this lighting and it just looks, it looks kind of like ashy on my lips. Let me know what you guys see in the camera. Do you see like any ashiness or anything? It, I swear, I think it might just be the lighting. And then next up, we have the collaboration palette. This is the Oprah X Hot Mess Mama palette. And there she is on the back. This is the Unconditional Mini Mix palette. And it says, it says it's for date night or nightlife and oh it's magnetic so you can like refill it with stuff well that's really fun so let's see what's in here Ooh, pretty oh green these are very pretty colors we have a pretty like intense pink blush over there we got some highlights but i'm really liking these shades down here i love man earth tone if you can't tell this is a very pretty palette we got purple down there like just in case i'm feeling feisty oh you're not supposed to peel that off for some reason i thought oh you can peel this don't peel it <laughs> it's part of the palette the white stuff is kind of foamy and it just it, it's begging to be peeled but don't peel it so this is a very cute collaboration i think these are very wearable colors very nice kind of neutral colors I think you could definitely go day and night with this and fun. I really like it. Thank you so much for sending this my way. Alrighty, folks. Next up here, we have an American Influencer Awards Beauty Bundle box, which is the longest name ever. Does this still exist? I feel like I saw a comment saying this doesn't exist anymore. I gotta do a little look-see, because I feel like there's a lot of subscription boxes that no longer exist, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So maybe people were a little bit confused. It looks like they're taking a break. Oh, okay. So they're taking a little bit of a long break. It says, hello, we are skipping the next few months for all subscribers. We're taking 
taking time to make the future line of AIA Beauty Bundle stronger and better. That's nice. I will be back in October with an exciting new brand. That's good. I'm glad they're not gone forever because I do actually like this box. I think it's kind of fun. It's a little bit different because you're only getting like one brand per box, but you get to try out like a lot from that line. So that's a little bit different than your standard like subscription box model. Ooh, this looks really fun. Oh, I've never heard of this brand before. Play. It's spelled with an E. I have never heard of that before, but the stuff looks kind of fun. Play X Cobra Kai. So this is like a collaboration with Cobra Kai. I think that's a TV show. <laughs> I, I'm not 100% not, not, not sure, but I think I think that's a TV show. I've never seen it, but the packaging and stuff looks really fun. It's got like snakes on it. I guess cobras likely. Sorry guys, my camera battery died. I feel like this video has been a bit of a struggle and I'm very sorry about that. This might not be the best round of random roundup ever. All right, so the first thing we have here is an energizing facial mist. Like I said, everything's got little snakes on it, which is real cute. It says use any time of day when you need a roundhouse kick of hydration. Just roundhouse kick you right in the face with hydration. Does it doesn't say that it's a setting spray or anything, it just says it's an energizing mist. So let's see, I guess that's an energizing scent. I don't know, it just smells kind of like fresh. I don't know what that scent is, but um, yeah, kicks you right in the face apparently. Oh, and that, this is pretty cute little packaging. If you can see kind of like the monochrome snakes on there, like the shiny snakes on top of the matte black, I think that's pretty cute. This is a sweet the cheek. I'm sure these are references that I'm, I'm probably not getting, either to the show, which I'm still not 100% sure is a show, or potentially just like martial arts and Oh, this is an on the glow highlighter. Uh, yep. Uh, strike first, strike hard, no mercy. I'm assuming a show reference. I promise that just didn't pop into my head out of nowhere. Just a nice little plasticky tube. <laughs> Well then, I told y'all I've been struggling. <laughs> Where'd that even go? <laughs> so apparently don't open it fast or hard. Show mercy. Stick that right back in there. It's a little bit wet for some reason. I don't think anything on this table is wet. One can never fully know, but I don't think it is. There's definitely some little like water beads on it. All right, so like the moistness of the outside of the tube doesn't really relate to the, the actual product itself. It's kind of like a powdery feel, kind of dry and not super glowy, unfortunately. It does pick up the light a little bit and there is some reflectiveness to it But like the feeling of it is very powdery and it's just not just not really what I was anticipating <laughs> Following that looks like it might have a little lipstick here. This is a lip habit hydrating lip tint Ooh in the shade cherry blossom. So this could be Ooh, ew, The packaging is really pretty on this. It's like a clear acrylic kind of surrounding a black tube with some designs on it I think that's really pretty Ooh. Heavens. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> That's a very intense color. That's a quite intense color. What I could only describe as a very cherry looking color. It's kind of red. It's kind of fuchsia, kind of pink. It's, it's it's bright. It's bright for sure. I think cherry blossoms is a great name. Oh, a snake. I do like all the little snakies on the packaging. I think that's cute. I think it smells kind of cherry too. I'm getting a little hint of like cherry scent to it. it smells nice. Then the last little makeup -y item we have in here. And then it looks like we have like a, it's something else. We have a little palette. Oh, look at them. Just martial arts fighting there on the front of the packaging. It's kind of fun. It looks almost like a uh, like an ink painting. Clear. The packaging is really pretty. We got some more snakes and stuff and then another really pretty set of colors. So we have more greens, uh, a lot more warm tones and things. I kind of was expecting something a little bit different. <laughs> Don't be broken. I true, I had no idea. Is this magnetic or not even magnetic? That felt like right out. Okay, it's not even magnetic. It just kind of hangs out in there. <laughs> be careful with that. On the back, it does say be creative, reduce waste, reuse stuff, recycle this. So I'm assuming like you could either use this for something else, put some more stuff into it, or you could recycle this since this has like pans and glue in it. You might not be able to recycle it all together. So like you can take this out and just recycle the cardboard. So that's nice. Um, I just, I didn't know that that was gonna fall out. I'm real glad it didn't break. <laughs> oh, what is a hit? TV series. Good. Okay. This is a day and night eyeshadow palette packed with nine shades inspired by the hit TV series Cobra Kai. It is clean, cruelty free, tested on players and not animals. Again, players spelled with an E. I do think they're really pretty shades. Nothing really like crazy or different. I kind of thought they would look more like, you know, the stuff with the rest of the packaging. Maybe some more like purples and pinks and reds just based on what we were seeing on the packaging. But um, yeah, I mean, really pretty. And then finally, last but not least, we got like a whole bag in here. 
Oh, oh, oops. This looks like a bib. Why is it shaped like this? I mean, this looks like I'm, I'm about to go dig into some crab legs. Yeah, it's a little, it's a, it's a bag. I guess you just tie these together. So the bag on the outside is a black um, canvas. I wanted to say cardboard so bad, but it's not cardboard, <laughs> it's canvas. Then there's a little patch on here and it says strike first, strike hard, no mercy, which must be their motto. It's just so interestingly shaped. I've never seen a bag like this before. So there are no real like straps to it. Uh, I'm assuming you tie this into a knot and that is your strap, but they're so thick and the material is so thick that you don't really have much of like an opening space. If I'm doing this wrong, please let me know. This is the only way I could figure that this would actually turn into a tote bag because that's what they call it on the thing. I mean, it's kind of cute once you tie it all together. I don't really know. Well, yeah, you can kind of fit an arm into it, but this would definitely be more of like a little handbag. I don't know. It's, it's different. Definitely different. I don't have anything like this. And now I cannot get it untied. All right, so that was a very interesting American Influencer box. Um, I don't think I've ever received anything that like wasn't a makeup or beauty product inside of this box, so it's kind of fun to get something different, even if it is a very strange tote bag. Oh, it's a karate tote. So it's a very specific type of tote. I just, I happen to not know what that is. I did take karate when I was little for just, for one whole class. I think maybe two classes. I learned how to count to 10 in Japanese, and that's where it ended. I don't think I ever did actually any of like the karate things. I was not very coordinated or good at sport, any type of sports, just none. So I got scared and never took any more classes but I did learn how to count to 10 in Japanese and that's, I've learned, I've held on to that information. Okay, so <laughs> that pops us down. Let's move on to the rest of the stack. I truly and honestly have no idea what this is. It's in a beautiful box. Seems very sturdy. Didn't come in any other outer packaging. It was shipped like this. So it's a nice, good hefty box. Looks like it's magnetic. It's nice and like iridescent, but I, I truly don't know what it is. <laughs> is it a subscription box? Maybe. Is it something completely different? Could be. It says blink, wink on the outside. Is this a box of fake? eyelashes also maybe I truly don't know it's it's a mystery oh no I cut into the pretty box dang on it I was gonna keep this oh it is magnetic see oh there's more tape okay Ooh. What? first of all what a lovely box the inside of the box has a mirror in it I've never seen that before this is such a nice box and it does look like it's some type of subscription potentially because it's filled with all sorts of different things it's not just like one brand of stuff so very Fun. Okay, now I'm curious. I'm gonna have to go look this up because I, I this looks really fun and promising. Kato's little baby. It is actually a subscription box. So it says receive five to nine full size beauty products monthly delivered to your door. Each box has a retail value that has triple what you spend. We focus mainly on eye makeup items, including eyeshadow palettes, lashes, liner, and so much more. That's fun. I've never heard of the subscription before. Oh, okay. So I like that there are options here. So there is a blank wink box and then there's also a natural lash girl that doesn't include any false lashes, which I personally never really wear false lashes. So I like that that's an option. Month to month is $32.99. I don't know if there's any shipping or anything attached with that, but uh, yeah, I'm very excited to see what all is in here. Ooh, the first thing I'm seeing here is from ColourPop. This is a flown away super shock sh shadow duo. I think the ColourPop super shock shadows are very pretty. So I'm excited to see these look like. Ew, oh no, that one's kind of broken, but that's okay. So we have mint for you, as in like, you know, mint, mint leaves. However, this looks, this looks very blue to me. I don't know about y'all. Oh, dang on it, why in the cameras does look green? In person, this looks aqua blue to me, but like in this lighting, that does look kind of minty green. And it's pretty, either way, it's pretty. And then we have this one, which is Ladybird, but unfortunately it is kind of broken. This looks like a really nice, just kind of pale shimmery shade. So that's nice. I probably could mush this back down in here because these are very like mushy formulas. Oh yeah, there we go. Just cram all little bits of the crevices. Yeah, there we are. It's very light and there are like little glittery bits to it, but uh, yeah, it's cute. Following that, we got all sorts of sticks in here. So let's start off with the largest one. We have something from Ocalon. Oh, artistic diamond shiny lacquer what? Liner. Shiny lacquer liner. That sounds really interesting. Easy to operate, easy to color. That's, I mean, yeah, those are all probably good things, I guess. Lasting, perfect effect, waterproof, mo huh. moisturing. Sounds like something I make up out of my brain. Moisturing. That's not a word, right? <laughs> it doesn't say moisturizing. It doesn't say moisture. It says moisturing. Different. Ooh, it looks kind of pretty. It definitely is quite gold. It is a little bit shiny. I honestly, for some reason, was hoping for like chunkier glitter. I guess just because like it looks so chunky and glittery on here, but that doesn't really make sense for like the function of it. It'd be really hard to get chunky glitter out of a little like wand like this. It is pretty reflective and it is very gold. It just looks more like golden than glitter. My hand does burn a tiny bit though. 
I'm assuming it's probably just like the alcohols or something in it, but my hand, my hand's burning a little bit. It stinks. Then we have two eyeliners here from Hikari. We have Ocean and Orchid. I'm gonna assume the Orchid one might be like a pretty pinkish color, like a fuchsia color, and then the Ocean one, maybe blue. Oh my, okay, so for the Orchid one, it is kind of on the fuchsia side, but it's a little bit more on the, the purple fuchsia side. It looks like it also might be kind of shiny though, so I'm excited to see what this looks like. It swatches actually pretty well. It was pretty creamy and pretty pigmented, and there's a bit of like a metallicness to it. Not really the shimmery, glittery, kind of like this golden one over here, here, but just more metallic. It's actually really pretty. My throat did all sorts of weird things at the end of that sentence right there. Really pretty. My hand is still burning. Why is it still burning? I feel like I'm eating a fair amount of plastic doing this. I can't get a shot over. Just little shards of plastic all in my mouth. Ooh, it is. It's a very pretty, what did I say? Aqua, aqua shade. Yeah, very pretty. Okay, I feel like these are gonna look very nice together. Well, Okay, maybe I shouldn't have rolled it up that much. That's probably on me because I did I did break it just a little bit. Just the whole tip is now broken off. I gotta rest it on my hand there. Uh, but it's pretty and again, very creamy and smooth. Very xenon. Oh, we have a big thing here from, oh, Miss Manicadar. The eye life. Oh, miss you. Oh, miss you. Is this the whole thing of fake lashes? Oh my heavens. Oh dear. Okay, <laughs> this is a lot of fake lashes if it is. For somebody who rarely wears fake lashes, um, this is a little intimidating. <laughs> That's a whole lot of eyeball hair pairs on there. Wow. Okay, they're all sorts of like different styles and everything. Wow. We have some longer ones, some shorter ones, ones that are a little bit more wispy. I, I hate to say wispy. All these are fairly thick. They do have like a pretty thick black band to them. I don't really think you would get like a light wispy out of any of these lashes. There's just so many of them. <laughs> That's nice though. I mean, this is supposed to be like an eye concentrated box and there's 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 some eye stuff in there. That's for sure. Oh my goodness. We still have more in here and it looks like we have two eyeshadow palettes. So let's go for both of these. That's so pretty little butterfly. Huh, okay. So uh, <laughs> I got a little distracted. Um, I was looking at this very cute little butterfly palette, which I will show you guys here in just a second. But um, I got distracted by the other palette that is in here and mainly the name. Um, I don't know. I, I'm sure they didn't mean anything by it, but I feel like maybe they could have picked a different name because what they're going for here, I'm sure something to do with like sunset and like the sun going down and the different colors you get with that, you know, but un unfortunately the, the word that they have chosen is n not the best. So this palette is named um, Sundowners. Look, there's a whole bunch of different ways this could be construed and maybe not, not all of them are fantastic. Um, but, but Sundowners is an actual kind of like syndrome or it's the name for a syndrome uh, people with dementia struggle with. I think also other people struggle with as well, but yeah, sun Sundowners is not, not a great thing. <laughs> so I feel like maybe this is not the best name for an eyeshadow palette. I understand, yeah, you're probably going for like sunset colors, but Sundowners, I feel like we could, that could be taken a couple of different ways and none of them are fantastic. So maybe not, maybe not the best name for a palette. Um, we'll look at the colors real fast. Yeah, really pretty colors from Okalon Cosmetics. So just nice kind of, there's a very warm toned colors. We got a lot of mattes in here, a couple of shimmers. Very pretty colors, stuff we see quite often. Nothing too like out of the box or anything, just that the name really caught me off guard. I wasn't anticipating that. Anywho, uh, the next item we have in here is a very cute little butterfly palette. This is from Cara Beauty and it's just a cute little butterfly. One side's made out of like flowers and the other side's just made out of butterfly and it's very adorable. <laughs> oh fun! Oh fun! They're two, oh they're magnetic like two. You could give one to your best friend and then you could be, you know, Oh, how cute. These are both the Bloom Into You palettes, so no shocker here. The side is very, very purple, but it's really pretty. They're nice, pretty purple shades. Uh, this one kind of has, oh, this one kind of has some like marbling to it. That's really nice. And the other side, we have some nice like bluey mints. A little bit on like the minty aqua side. Again, very, very pretty. I like kind of like the marbly shade and everything looks nicely pigmented. These are super cute. I just really like that they're magnetic. I think that is super fun. I like that a lot. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that was everything for the Blink Week box, the very first time we've ever tried it. I think this was a fun box. There is definitely a lot of makeup in here. Again, very eye makeup heavy, but that's what they aim for, like eye makeup stuff. 
I don't think I've ever received a box that was like specifically eye makeup related, so I think that's cool. Lots of eyeshadows, lots of eyeliners. Um, yeah, $32.99. I don't know how much the shipping is, but there's a decent amount of stuff in here. So yeah, this is very cute. And the box itself is great. Again, magnetic. I just, I must love a magnet. And um, with the little mirror in it, I think it's normal. Right, you guys, and finally, last but not least, we have another witch box. They sent me another one. You guys really seem to enjoy it. The last one that we did, and uh, I'm excited to get on to another one. I mean, it's a witch box and I don't really practice that um, so I don't really know what this stuff is used for but it's really cool and interesting and uh, yeah I'm excited to see what they have in this one. It says magical secrets lie within and I love this little card. I am a deer fan. I love deer. So this is such a cute little card here on top. Oh there's a note! Dear Alexandria, we wanted to say thank you so much for your video unboxing last month. We are still a very small business and the love and support we have received since has been overwhelming. The community you created is so kind and generous. It is a true testament to the positive energy energy you are putting out. Oh, this is so sweet. Please continue making your wonderful content being truly yourself. We hope this box bring you a little bit of magic if you need it. Oh, blessings Molly. How sweet is that? Oh, that's so nice. Ooh, this is pretty. To the moon and back and there's a little kitty setting in a moon. That is super cute. On the back it says moon chant. Write your own or record your favorite moon chant here. That sounds fun. If you guys are interested in finding this box, it's witchbox.co.uk. This isn't sponsored or anything. I'm not getting paid for this. There's no affiliate links or anything. They just are very kind and they sent this my way. So let's go ahead and look through our July box. We're just a few, we're just a little few days past. I don't like the moon. I'm more of a moon girl than a sun girl. Um, I don't really get out in the sunshine much. But I do like the moon. I think it's very pretty and I like nighttime and the stars and all that jazz. A moon braid kit? What is that? I, I did get some comments last time I did this video where people were like, you just kept saying, I was a bay yawn, buddy. You see these? Oh, I don't know what this is. But the thing is, I, I don't know what these things are, but it's fun to learn. Like, I have, I have no idea what this is. But it's something very different for me, and it's interesting to learn about different stuff. So it looks like we have three different pieces of ribbon here, all different colors. And then there's a little, looks like a tooth there for a second. I don't think it's a tooth. There's a little white stone in here. And then there is just a little silver hoop. So it gives you instructions on these super cute cards. Cards. I love how all their instructions and booklets and everything is printed. Like these are so cute. Like I, I would frame this. This is pretty. So it says making a moon braid is a meditative act and the finished braid can be used to decorate your home or your altar. So what it's included is a white, silver, and black ribbon, a hanging loop, and a mini moonstone. Oh, it's a moonstone. So you're supposed to braid everything together, and then when you finish, you can hang your charm in a window, or attach it to a bag, or keep it around your house. So it's cute. So it's a little braiding kit. Like, look how pretty, like, even just this little card telling us about the snow cords, look how pretty that is. And then it just has their website on the back. So apparently there is some snow. Ooh, that must be what this is. This is so pretty. Okay, so this is snow cords. Apparently it's also known as moon cords, milky cords, or white cords so smooth looking. It comes in a super cute little bag too. It has like little moons and stars on it. It looks like the bags that we got in the uh, Etsy boxes that we did. Oh, it's so smooth. It's polished really nicely. It's very bright white and just really nicely shiny. <laughs> I like it. It says this gentle stone encourages compassion, understanding, and can remove negative thoughts. Oh, I like that. That's nice. It can offer support when finding life a little difficult and allow us to see situations more clearly. Life has been a tiny bit difficult for me recently, so this is this is really nice. Next up, we have a little canvas bag in here. It looks like there might be some type of string. Ooh, it's a vial. This looks fun. This looks like I keep potions and stuff in there. That's really cute. Just a little pointy black vial. I don't think I've ever seen one like that. Oh, it's see-through. Okay, there's nothing in it. I thought there might be something in it at first. There's just the tiniest little stopper. Look how adorable adorable that is. This is precious. I wonder if we're supposed to put something in it. That might come later on in the box. Put that back in there for safekeeping. That is a very, very cute little glass vial. Ooh, these are good crinkles. I like these crinkles. They're like a really dark plum color. They almost look black, but these, these are substantial crinkles. All right, we have a little spell kit here. I'm wondering if that goes with the little vial. <laughs> oh, we got more spices. Juniper berries and nutmeg. I bet that smells delicious. Can I smell it? Oh, it does. You okay? Hold on just a second, guys. You okay, boy? So first off, Tanner is okay. He was just worrying me a little bit with some of his, like, actions and stuff. He was acting a little bit off. So uh, I wanted to get him out of here with all these bright lights and things so he could rest in the other room. So I went and sat with him and rested with him. But then my husband came home and I made us dinner. And then I don't know if I poisoned us or not because I'm feeling really not good. I'm feeling very not great and I've been struggling. I've been kind of, like, fighting for my life for a little while. <laughs> He's 
it's fine though. I'm not fine. So I don't know if it's poison. I just wanted to go ahead and try to like pull myself together and uh, finish out this video real fast. So that's what we're gonna do. So we left off here talking about the spices. I was sniffing them, I'm fairly certain. Yeah, it smells good. It smells very like fall-esque. I don't know what a juniper berry is or what it's supposed to smell like, but I do smell the nutmeg. It does say do not consume. So maybe they're not um, spices for making things. They are if, if for a spell kit, keep that in mind. Also inside the spell kit, there's a little string and then there's a little cone of incense. And then we have our actual little rolled up spell. There's also a little uh, purple baggie in here. Oh, a spell to banish negativity. I like that. Will it banish food poisoning? Oh, so what we have is a lemon incense cone, a purple charm bag, a juniper berries and nutmeg mix, and then natural twine. And then it tells you what you're supposed to do with your little spell again, with just like the cutest little prints on the front. I love that like moon with the little stars in it. Uh, the next thing that we have in here looks real pretty. Oh my gosh, we have another candle. I love this one with the moon and the sun together. Oh, that's so cute. Not too much. Well, there's a little bit of a smell to it. Maybe more of like a kind of incense-y type scent, but it's not terribly strong. I just think that's so cool. I think this would be a super cool for Halloween. I might set that in my like entryway. Ooh, this is also pretty. This little coaster. That's so cute. The sun and the moon again, kind of the same setup up here. Oh, but in this one, they're sleeping. and this one, they're awake. That's cute. I do kind of wish there were two coasters in here, at least so you could have a pair of them, but it's still really pretty. Oh, there's a scroll in here. Oh, again, so pretty. Look at that. Like, that could absolutely be framed and hung up somewhere. I love the moon at the top and the little, like, sticks and twigs around. Drawing down the moon. Again, super interesting. I just, I love, like, the visuals of all of this. I think it's really cool. And the last thing in here, it looks really pretty. Oh, it's a book. Oh, there's something else. I'll go ahead and show you guys this first. Again, frameable. This is frameable. So these are the moon phases for spell work, and that's just such a cool looking card. I love the graphics. The last thing in here looks really cool. It's a really pretty book. It's like glittery on the front, kind of textured. It has a nice crescent moon on it. This is Moon Meditations 365 Nighttime Reflections for Peaceful Sleep. I love sleeping peacefully. I just love sleeping in general. Oh wow, they're actually like four each day. So they have the month and then the day on them. So this is August 9th. Some beautiful little pictures in there. Well, dang, moon meditations. I feel like you got me on this one. Okay, open your mind. It's time to let go of the illusion of control. Life doesn't always go according to plan, but that doesn't mean things aren't working out. Loosen your grip. Open your mind to the idea that your path may be unfolding in exactly the way it's meant to. Wow, okay, I this is cool. It's definitely different, something I wouldn't have thought of purchasing for myself, but uh, I really like it. This is supposed to help you improve your self-worth, inspire love, and find comfort in your evening routine, transform your sleeping patterns one night at a time, and get aligned with your inner self. All right, you guys, that is everything. This has been a struggle. <laughs> I'm sorry, this has been such a struggle. Oh my gosh, I think I have stopped and started this video more than I've ever stopped and started a video in my career of making videos. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so very much for watching this kind of mess. I'm sorry if it wasn't uh, the most interesting mess we've ever had, but it was a mess indeed. Uh, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. I mean, the absolute world to me. I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!